all right everybody welcome back and in this video let's just jump into building your ionic app real quick and seeing some hello worlds because that is how essentially we want to work right seeing the output writing code seeing output writing code because that's interactive so anyway how do we start well you can start by saying ionic serve in the directory in which you started the project this is going to in short run this particular command which is react script start <clears throat> which is going to start a development server just like this um, on your machine and you can see that the chrome browser is launched and you can see right here that we have our application right and if you look deeply enough into the console you can see that you have access to all the different stuff obviously because you are running inside the browser but you have all these um you know different different tags and shadow items as well which we're going to see what this is uh later on <clears throat> but yeah that's how this pretty much works right so we have this ionic template being served to us and the code for this is obviously inside the home template so you can see right here that if i update this to ionic looks pretty cool and save it we're gonna see that it automatically refreshes it and shows me that ionic looks pretty cool right so this is how you're gonna run a hello world program right here you're gonna see that we have a certain structure to follow when you're writing an ion page that is an ionic page right here right and uh, yeah we're gonna get into the details of that and you can also change this header to be like ionic maybe like hello world something like that right and it's just going to work out of the box just like that and to just add some effects you can actually instead of running this in a full fresh browser you can have this inside a device simulated as well so that it looks much more like you're interacting with a particular device right so yeah you can see that once we switch to iphone it centered itself because in iphones it's a tendency to have titles to be centered right so it's going to follow all that stuff if it's on iphone if it's on ipad or android so it's going to respect that right so yeah that's pretty much it for this video and if you liked it don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching and i'll see you then in the next one real quick